Hey, welcome to my new Vlogmas, and today we're gonna go vertical. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and I help live streamers create graphics and animations to enhance their videos. And today, we're gonna do a tall video overlay that's mostly used in mobile devices, but here's a cool way to enhance them and not look so plain. So let's jump into Keynote and make that happen. All right, so here we are in Keynote. We're gonna open up a new presentation. And let's go ahead and drag, select all, and delete. All right, now the first thing we have to do is we need to flip this thing, right? So we're gonna go over here to Document, and we're gonna change our slide size over here from 16 by nine to a nine by 16 ratio. And how we do that is by going down here to custom slide size. And we're just gonna flip these two numbers. We're gonna go 1080 by 1920. All right, there we go. We have to reduce this down some, go a little more. All right, so here we are in the vertical size, right? And we're gonna build this the same way we build it in widescreen size, so it's really no different. But one thing you really wanna watch out for, especially when you're building vertical overlays, is how you fit on a screen. And the best way to know that is to do a screen capture of yourself on screen. And I've already done that, so I'm gonna drag that in and use it as a template. So here's a template of myself, screen capture in tall format. So I'm gonna draw a shape here. Let me change the opacity of that shape. So I have the shape, I'm gonna go down to format, change the opacity so I can see through it. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle over my face and really all the elements I wanna see in my video, right? So that's kind of centered. Let me go a little wider. Center it again, all right? So I'm gonna go even on the top, the top edge and the left and right edge and go wider on the bottom. Not that wide, but wide, right? just to give myself some space on the bottom where I can uh, add a call to action, add a hashtag, different things like that, right? So let's go a little wider. Center that again. Center that. All right, so I think we're good. Let's delete that. And we'll put a color on that. And let's do our background. We'll give that a color as usual. So if we go over here to object list, put the back rectangle in the back. Now this top blue rectangle, because I always do a border around mine, I'm going to option drag to get another copy of it. Then I'm going to click these bottom two shapes. Go to format, shapes and lines, subtract shapes. And now I'm going to go to the top shape, do a color fill, no fill, border, line, and let's make it gray and let's kick it up a little bit. 13 looks good. So I click off of everything and go to background color fill equal no fill. And now I have an overlay, right? So let's add a little text to it because there's something about the text, right? Where you really want to uh, make sure that you're using a, um, a typeface that's big enough to be viewed on a mobile device, right? We're not widescreen, we're not 1920, and the font or the typeface that you use needs to be conducive to viewing on mobile. So with that, I suggest you use no font that's smaller than 85 points. So I'm just gonna do my hashtag Bradley Teaches down here, and I'm gonna boost that up to 85, and I'm gonna bold that and make it white, okay? And so let's change this background to a gradient fill. And all the same rules apply, right? We can do an image fill, we can do an advanced image fill, all the, all the aspects of it work the same. But you just wanna make sure that your framing is good and that you use text that's big enough to be read on a mobile device. That is the thing you really wanna watch out for if you use any text on it, because now you're making an overlay that people typically won't even see on mobile devices, right? Because when they go tall, it's usually just kind of a full body shot, just a person on the screen. But now you're giving yourself a little something extra by using an overlay, but you wanna make sure if you put call to actions on it, that they're large enough to be read on a mobile device, right? So around 85 point text will be great for that. So let's export this. 
File, Export, Images. And it's going to be a PNG. Go Next. And we're going to call this Tall. So now we have the same overlay that is static right now, but we're going to animate it. So let's click on the border. We're going to do something simple. Just click on the border. And we're going to go to Animate. And we're going to animate out. So build out, add an effect. And we're going to do fade and scale. And we're going to scale it big. No shine. And about one and a half seconds. So look at that. It's kind of a pulsating line, right? Just kind of pulsates out. So that's all we want to do. And just something different. And you know what? Let's make this line go back to format. Make the line white so it can be seen a little bit better. Just do something different, right? So because what you want to do, especially with mobile, when people are watching your video, you're already in mobile format. Add a little something extra to it. It might make somebody click on it to listen. And that little extra animation might be it, right? So we're going to go to File, Export, Movie. And zero, 0, here. And we want to make sure it's 1080 by 1920, not 1920 by 1080. Make sure those numbers are flipped. Apple ProRes 4444. Four, four, four. Go next. And we're going to call this Tall Movie. So that's it, y'all. All right, so we're back in Ecamm now in tall format. Ignore these black boxes on either side because the tutorial is in widescreen, right? But this is your vertical picture that's going to show up as a full screen vertical video on your mobile device, right? So now let's open up the static overlay that I had. So this is the static one. And even though it's 1080 by 1920, it comes in a little bit small. That's okay. Just scale it up and it still uh, stays sharp. So you're good, right? So this is the first static overlay. Very easy to make. Two shapes, cut a hole out of the shape, right? So now let's go to our animated one just to see it. So here's the animated version, right? And we will put that on loop and play. And you'll see it just kind of pulsate out, right? So I'm sitting here talking and it's like, hey, oh, it's moving a little bit extra, right? So you have those things. So these are the two formats. Now, while we're here, let me show you something a little bit extra that Ecamm can do. And it's the idea that was brought to us by our friend from the Ecamm group, Lola. So, and I call this frame actually the Lola frame, right? Because she's the one that kind of inspired people to start using the overlays. So now there's another little extra tip that you can use here to help enhance your videos or even your layout. Because as you see here, how it's cropped in a tall format, this, you may like this, right? Or you may not. You may want to have yourself a little bit bigger on the screen or maneuver in a different spot. So this great thing with Ecamm is called camera overlays. Let's go back to the static one. All right. The camera overlays you can use and then kind of position yourself a little differently. So let's throw in a camera overlay. I'm going to right click on it in Ecamm here and edit my overlay. So I'm going to go tall format and I'm going to use my good camera. So now as I scale myself up, right, because as you see, if I move myself closer to the top now, then put it down under the overlay again, right, my cropping is different and my body positioning has more spacing. So now if I turn that off, see how it's different now? This is the original and this is the camera overlay. So I can kind of move my picture around now versus having that static picture that's now covered with an overlay. And let me turn off the overlay to show you the difference here. Okay. So as you see here, my camera overlay and my regular image, right? So I can position myself a little bit smaller, move myself around inside the frame with a camera overlay and then get the different kind of looks that I want, right? Because now I have my text at the bottom to enhance it. I can move my picture to enhance it and give myself that upper hand on these vertical videos. So until next time, I am Bradley Vinson, Alana's Papa. Be blessed, be free. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. See y'all soon. Bye-bye.